So this has just been one of those weeks where nothing really works out. Very little has gotten done. We have managed to remove the shutters on the bottom half of the chateau. The remaining top shutters have not come off yet simply because it's really windy and it's been windy for several days now. So climbing up that ladder and hoisting down the shutters isn't an ideal situation. It's not safe. We'll just have to wait until the wind dies down. The other disappointing thing is that France is currently experiencing a really bad drought. So we're under a red alert, which means we really can't use water to do things like power wash your chateau. So it's just going to have to wait. Hopefully it'll rain. Who knows when we'll be able to get to this. So this is just another project that is currently on hold. The shutters have been labeled. They'll be cleaned and we'll move them to an outbuilding where they're safe then we can get started on the windows. Sanding them, puttying uh, around the glass, and then a primer and a paint. So how many do we have to do? Two, four, six, eight, nine on this side. So that's a good, uh, yeah. We're headed into the woods. Our property is approximately 40 acres, and how much of it is forest would at, you estimate? This part is probably at least five acres. It's very overgrown. It's overgrown, and we're going out there because we haven't been in a long time. A year? Probably, yeah. Yeah, so we like to go out and inspect and see what's there people back there, <laughs> if there's any bodies. <laughs> but the one thing that's very interesting about this property is that it has a vivier. And a vivier is man-made fish ponds. So we have this rectangular shaped pond. Right. Well, we're, hopeful, we're hoping that it's more dried up now so we can go uh, inspect it better. It's yeah. usually a little soggy in the bottom. Yeah. And we were told that they were built with wooden uh, it's either wood or clay wood on the or bottom. Wood or clay on the bottom, and then it's fed by a natural stream. Then they would stock it with fish, and... On fish day. On fish day, you... Go get some. Yeah. So we'll take you along, and we'll see what we can find. We discovered these aerial photographs of the property online. One dates back to 1952, and the other 2018. You can see how the land was left to its own devices, creating a massive forest with mostly invasive laurel trees. Now it's our responsibility to get in there and thin them out. Are you going the right way? Well, it all leads there. So not too far from the back door of the garden is a little washing house where they used to come here to the stream and wash clothes. This is a project we'll tackle in the fall when most of the leaves are down and we can really get some trees cut. This whole area from where we left the garden to here used to be open space. This is probably growth from 30, 40 years. Probably the last 40 years. This is the back of it. It's built in to a little bit of a, a hill, so they had access to the water from the stream. The water normally flows from there. Yeah, you can see. That's the little rock formation. So this, like I said, this is a good opportunity to muck all this out. And this is made out of slate. Why don't you dig, Lincoln? Ooh, it's very squishy. Ooh, I'm sinking. It's actually pretty deep, I think. And there's a little bench. Oh, look how deep That's that how is. That's how deep it is. Okay. 
So why don't you dig and see what's on the bottom? It's probably slate. I think it's slate on the bottom too. Yeah. Wow, that's deep. Yeah, that's slate. Slate. <laughs> Careful, you don't want to break the slate. No, I don't want to break anything. <laughs> that's all slate. Lined with slate, uh, and sides is, and bottom. At, so these are giant pieces of slate that are just put together. Oh well, yeah, you to see that this edge is at is least it? six feet. Yeah, and so this, these are too. This is all slate. So we need to get out here and put that on our list. Put that on our list, but really, no, <laughs> we do have to get to this because this is a cool feature that we need to preserve. You could try to turn that into like a hot tub or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, for guests. So the Vivier is farther down. So you have to remember there wasn't a forest here, so uh, it wasn't as treacherous to get to. On our left over there, through those trees, that's our park. And we are just headed north. Are we going north? I think this is north, yeah. We're going north. Should we announce ourselves in case there's somebody out here? Well, I think we're making enough noise, so. The snakes are leaving and the... Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> My love. Shut up. <laughs> wow, this is so dry out here. So here we are. Okay, so this... From here to the other side looks... I, I'm really bad. That is that... 50 feet, uh, 75 feet, That's I don't like know. That's like 100 feet. I, I don't, it could be, but this is the shorter distance. So go in there and demonstrate. Yeah. So okay. we can see how big it is, because it's hard to tell on camera. So just imagine this was filled with water And there was a wall built on that side as a dam. Yeah. And there was a notch in it where the water would flow over. Can you see me? Hello. You're pretty far away. It's totally dried out or no, it's, it's, wow. It's soggy. So what's the length? What do you think? That's probably a, a couple hundred feet long. They must have had a lot of fish in here, huh? But what, um, you know, when we purchased the property, the realtor said we can kind of turn this into a natural swimming pool, but I don't know that anybody would want to swim with critters. This is the first time we could actually do this. Yeah, it, because of the drought. And you can see this is, this is a wall that was built. And the ones on the sides are... Is this a stone wall? Stone there. Yep. Well, it could have been something that they, it was already sort of here naturally and they just put the walls up to make it deeper. When we moved to France, we brought along one cat and one dog. We now have amassed six cats, two dogs, and two donkeys. I also feed at least two feral cats and have spotted two hedgehogs snacking on the cat food I leave in the barn. <coughs> Thank you.
Although I do love all of my cats, a couple of them are still learning to live together. So I set up what's called the pee cam to catch the one cat who occasionally marks a spot in the center hallway. Here you can see myself cleaning up some pee, a random dog, and I caught some cat shenanigans which seemed to occur in the early morning hours. We've discovered the mystery peer is Maple. She and Fluffy are working out their differences, and just like restoring a chateau, these things take time. Hello, Dominic. What's up? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hi, Vea. Yeah. You guys have some water, huh? Oh, <laughs> you're smart. This, it, it just like, could this day be any worse? Boy, what a dummy I am. So today I'm having a really bad day. I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. So I'm here to visit the donkeys. I just gave them treats. They just had squash and carrots. I gave them their water and I applied their anti-fly roll-on. I call it their donkey deodorant. And this is something we have to do every day because we just have flies and the flies really bother them. But I just applied it and it's a little roll-on and it keeps the flies away. They have a shelter, they have a house, a lovely house, and um, they go in there during the day when it's hot so the flies aren't um, particularly bothersome in there. If any of you are thinking of getting a donkey, I highly recommend two because just one uh, isn't great. They get very lonely and um, they need companionship. So Uvea, who's this one, my sweet Uvea, she's very gentle. Um, she came with the property and um, she was very lonely. We would hear her braying all the time. And then I read up on it and, you know, all the experts say donkeys need another donkey friend. So we adopted Dominic. You guys should turn around for the camera. This isn't the best uh, view for our viewers. You have such pretty faces. They don't want to. Oh, oh, there's Mimi. Look at Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Mimi's here too. Mimi the Chateau Cat. So anyway, um, this is what we do on a daily basis. One of our, one of our jobs around here. Right, Dominic? And they're very sweet to have. So if you have the space, rescue a donkey. There are plenty of them that are just uh, being destroyed. And I know we said this in one of our previous vlogs, but um, Dominic was saved from slaughter. They were gonna turn him into salami. So we rescued him. Okay, donkeys, see you tomorrow. Join us next week as Lincoln attempts to complete another project I gave him for the guest room. 